Hello, Monsters of Anthem, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and what I think is part 19. I think. I, I, somewhere along the way my save files have got out of sync. So, I think it's part 19. Uh, anyway, last time we, we... Oh god, we're trying to fight off a Zizel, but he's got a lot of armies that do not want to come to play. But Festus, at least, took a bit of a dive. Um, but the vampires turned up, so, you know. Swings and roundabouts, I guess. However, Boris, exactly, has uh, has returned. He's going to come and basically kick a Zizel up the bottom. And I'm wondering if maybe we could get if we could get um, Castaltin to come back. I don't know, but. It's it's a if we if we raid this it just feels like a lot of work. If we raid this enough, eventually it will rebel, and that'll be a Castalton rebellion. And if we have help the rebellion, but if the long as the rebellion doesn't attack us, then maybe. But it's it's kind of a big a big ask. Boop. I must say, Freddy, you're. I love the purple. The purple looks amazing on you. It's really nice. Just a, just a nice look. Uh, we'll replace your losses. Wait. We'll replace your losses. There we go. It's only going to take one turn. Lovely. Uh, you've got that one, which is fine. I guess we could go with Deadly Blades. With this, my rule is absolute. Yes, you're very, you're very self-assured, aren't you, Freddy? Aren't you? Very self-assured, which is which is great. You know, self-belief is a is a great thing. Eagle is just protecting our southern border down here. If any armies come this way, he will desperately try to fend them off. Good luck there. We do have defenses coming up, which is good. Also, what's the corruption like? It is, it is going down. Oh, there's even some nice green here. Next to the the volcanic shit. Never mind. Chaos Dwarves, am I right? Oh yeah, you're the guy from the big bear that showed up, aren't you? I don't know what to do with you, to be honest. The fuck is that? Courage of Sacrifice. The fuck are you? What? What? Is... Do they all have that? <laughs> That just, I just, I did never notice that. Um, Storms. you. Oh, you've all got that. Genuinely unshakable belief in himself. There we go. There we go. So, we could try and shank you. It's a 55% chance. It's not bad. And it was successful. Good job. Good job, little goblin. Good job. Say the word, and the folks shall be mobilized. Well, I mean mobilized, you know, been the true lines. Uh sure. I don't I don't mm. I'm not entirely convinced Miao Ying is going to survive for much longer, but never mind. That's not... That's not really my... My concern, is it? I feel like you need at least two armies to push... Oh, for fuck's sake, you got another plague. Okay, that plague's actually better than the one you had. Ah, there is... There is Festus's army. If we if we can take that on and finish it off, no more Festus. Oh, Azizel. Are you going to run away, Azizel? Are you going to run away? Don't run away, Azizel. Just just stay and fight. Oh, come on. My natural I know you got feathers, I didn't realise you were a fucking chicken. What a dick. 
face the frost. Maybe if we sack this enough. Like, you know, boop. With us today. They sack it. Threat. That. Okay. That could work if we just if we just keep that. We're gonna have a rebellion. Where was the rebellion? Uh, no, no. Was it this one? Ah, imminent rebellion, Ostland. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I could I could just give it to someone else. I don't really want it to be honest. Greetings from Sigma. It just seems like a lot of work, doesn't it? Uh, was it Wolfenberg? Wolfenberg. Yeah. Do you want it? Have, oh, yeah, I'll take 47k. I'll take 47k from you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Boris. Where's Boris? There he is. So Boris, goes. Boris is on his way. He's going to pull your head out of your ass. Anyone else? Anyone else want to come over and have a go? No? I'm amazed, actually, we've held on to this for so long. I genuinely didn't think... Like, we've got... Quite quite a large section of the Chaos Wastes under our control, and we've actually managed to maintain it as well. Which, in itself, is, is pretty impressive. I am Kislev's daughter. Can you...? You cannot assassinate anyone, no. Okay. Okay, just head over here. You are not. I can't believe he ran away. That is... Oof. Bad form. What is the... What's, not you. What's the garrison like here? Oof. Oof. The Motherland's folk settled beyond the borders of Kislev, bringing with them Urson's influence. Kislev district in any settlement is full of drunken but fierce Kossars, Trade factors and even agents of the Ice Queen. Ooh. Colonies of Kislev are found in many places, including the, Dol the Dolgans on the far side of the world, Dej Mountains. Ooh, I don't know where that is. Dolgans, that sounds familiar. Oh, Dolgan. That's because that's what that faction is called. There we go. I don't think there's any point in upgrading that settlement, to be honest. Uh, uh, are our boys in there? Hmm. Yeah. I... I don't think they're going to live very long. What news, comrade? Hello. Uh, trade agreement. Yeah, sure. We're actually making about 10k from trade at the moment. Which is, you know, pretty nice. It's alright, isn't it? Uh, we just cannot defend those minor settlements. Just being attacked from all sides, just by little armies, and I don't have the don't have the garrisons to deal with them. I mean, now that Boris is back, we're all right. But I don't think there's any point getting Igor or Freddy to push out because it'll just turn into a, a tit for tat. And frankly, do I want to expand? Like, if if I expand this direction, will I? If Grimgor suddenly declares war on me, what am I going to do? I mean, die is the answer, right? So basically, these guys just here to stop any potential attacks like this. Boop. I mean, I, I, I prefer work until you're fairly tired. But sure, whatevs. Boris Orso. So, I, I mean, I could be accused of being passive, but to be honest, do, do I want to push out anymore? Not really. I think you will come for Freddy. I think you guys have got a real bee in your bonnet about Freddy these days. Okay, if I go and attack you, are you going to you gonna fight or are you going to run away like a bunch of fucking wankers? Well, let's find out. I mean, you can't run away because uh, you're marching. Okay, fight three on one. 
You'll take that. Not one on one, though, I notice. Wankers. God, is Ezel moves fast. I'm like he's jet powered or something. Fucking hell. Look at him go. Unfortunately for him, uh, he decides to stand still for a bit, and that, that's not going to work out for him. Oh dear. Nope. 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 Well, he did some damage. But, ooh, taking several large balls to the face takes him down. All right, well, the general's dead, so we just need to deal with the rest of the enemy army. Fortunately, our reinforcements are on the way. So you batter the enemy, but they do have uh, a horde of demonettes forsaken. Chaos warriors, chaos spawn, chaos warriors, more demonettes. Sort of a first wave incoming. They're even summoning in some demonettes behind me, which is not what I really want. Oh, watch out, ladies. Oh, it's girl on girl. I love a bit of girl on girl. Oh, horrific, monstrous, demonic entity on... Girl. I guess. Anyway, the Chaos Knights are being shot to pieces. So that's good. However, our front line, particularly on the left flank, is looking a little bit fragile. Oh. Not more, please. I've had enough demonettes in my face. Oh, here come the enemy generals. At least they're not uh, leveled like a Zizel. Being able to level, only level 5 and 4. Our guys are shooting as quickly as possible. Trying to pick off as many of the enemy as, as they can. Lots of blob attacking on our right flank. So we're moving our fast moving units, including the light wall sleds. And the Warbear Riders. Going to wait until they're all blobbed up on that flank. And then we're going to hit them with the cavalry. And hopefully roll up the line. Doing a uh, death, is death frost, heart of winter, whatever the fuck, heart of winter, that one. Yeah, doing doing heart winters on these large blobs over here, and then our cavalry coming in. Get them, boys! Beep beep, motherfuckers! And then the Warbear Cavalry coming in, and that's going to shatter the Chaos Flank. It's looking a little bit dicey on the left as they manage to break through our front line and start engaging the Streltsy on our second. And more Chaos Reinforcements are arriving all the time. They're up to 3,200 at the moment. However, the Cavalry, having knocked out the flank, are now preparing to roll up the enemy line. You can see our, our forces now repositioning themselves to face the centre. Smash into that blob and then basically through the other side, quickly followed by the winged lancers and the bears. Just driving a wedge into the chaos center. A fast swirling melee erupts in the center as our cavalry and the enemy reinforcements are turning up. 
sort of end up mixed up together with the forces still trying to batter our front line and the units retreating from that sudden charge. The left flank seems to be a little bit more under control as all of our Ice Witches, Banjo and Grigor, jump on the enemy command group and start, like, wailing on them. You can see there's a lot of fleeing units now. This is giving... This is giving the uh, the space that our Streltsy need to just start shooting, taking bot shots at the fleeing units. Cavalry now turning back towards our right flank. Bit of a engagement in the trees. There's some chaos chariots and other units hiding in there. We've got some monstrous units now. These are reinforcements coming in late to the battle. Mostly Spawner Slanesh and uh, Chaos Trolls. However, they're getting picked off by the Streltsy. So we come back to help the flank once again as more units arrive to engage it. We've managed to fend them off. Some more units appearing on the left flank, rallying. All the Cossars have taken I think we're going we're gonna to lose some Cossars. We're going to need some more Cossars. Another Death Frost should finish this lot off, though. go that's broken leaving piles of dead behind Spork, some chaos spawn returning to the fights i say returning i mean they never run because they're not smart enough to run away all these chaos spawns starting stopping just in front of our gun line and get absolutely destroyed <laughs> oh you don't want to stop there oh no Cavalry charging once more into the trees, running down Marauders and Chaos Warriors left, right, and center. And with just the last few units of Chaos Spawn to mop up, we've defeated three stacks of Chaos Warriors. That's three stacks dealt with. Uh, we did lose some guys. But we also kicked the ever-living shit out of these guys. Uh, Zoyshnek is right. I can't take Zoyshnek. There's too many guys. There's too many guys. Guide me. Okay, we'll stick together. We need to do a little bit of replenishment over there. But we have managed to beat up uh, a large percentage of their forces. Which means we can now sort of helpfully, hopefully, hope helpfully, hopefully heal up, recruit some, some more Kossars to replace the ones we lost. And uh, we should then be able to bop. Bop Azizel. And let's go and bop Festus. Hello, Festus. Goodbye, Festus. Ah, oh, they're dead. Lovely. Right, and that means Catherine is finally free. She's done her duty. Courtly beasts. I, I just know. With this, I guard Kislev. Let's get, the, let's get the seagulls. Let's get the seagulls. Yeah. 
Atamans, I didn't even know you still were there. Hello. Observant. Okay, um, I mean, I don't... I don't think there's much to build here anymore. No, no, I tell a lie there is, but there's plenty of building. Okay, well, fair enough. I stand corrected. Freddy, you've still got those guys. I mean, you could actually go and fight them, but... I'll let them come to you. Jeez, where did you get all these demons from? Can Norskans recruit demons now? Because they seem to be able to recruit demons. Like, where did the demons come from? Where's... What's, what? Can they? Can they do that now? I mean... Apparently, yes. But how? Hello? Uh, yeah. Eh. She, she was just a little army. I don't even know where she, Where did she come from? I can't remember. She's just been tagging. Oh, I think I recruited. She was the... She got... She rec, Oh, was she pretty good? Oh, well, never mind. I gave her a pain in the ass. Oh, we've ended your non-aggression packs. Well, it does look like vampires are... Yeah, I mean, you deal with one problem. And like, 12 others prop up. I mean... Hi. Was that worth it? Was that worth it? It doesn't feel like it was worth it, mate. So, you killed one of my little armies, and in, in exchange, I killed an entire stack. Yeah, okay, I mean, alright, fine, if that's, you know, that's entirely your prerogative. It's entirely your prerogative. Okay, let's recruit some of you boys, and then... Together, we should be in a position to then throw ourselves at Easel. Plus, Castrin's on her way back, which is great. Uh, you could have... Wait, what do you have? Pretty much... Yeah. Um, I go with... Alright, go with Mentor. And then... Oh, Frostblades. Frostblades, let's do it. And you are ticked. Good. You can just do your own thing. Right. Good. Ah, there's Boris. Boris is here. Here comes here comes Bozza. Boss Bozza. And Catherine's freed up as well. So we could go and so we can go and take Norden, because it's on the way. I think once we break through Azizel's stacks, it should just be a case of rolling through Norska. Uh, sure. We'll grab that one, because it's a thing. Victory condition-wise, 60 or 70, and of course Wintertooth, who are currently just sitting... Okay. Okay. Well, good. I mean, sure. I, I, I do kind of want to deal with the crisis, but I just... Particularly the undead one is an absolute ball egg because of the they rise again thing, which just seems to be wildly overtuned for the undead, where I swear the undead can just attack you again and again and again and lose basically no units. It just... Uh, I My personal feeling is that they rise again should have a massive penalty if you don't win the battle. Like a minus 50% chance, because realistically... The, the idea is that they're, like, raising the dead back, right? 
How are they doing that if they don't have the battlefield, right? If you've killed them and routed them from the field, those dead bodies, what, where, where are they getting them from? Because they ain't the battlefield, is it? Nay? Eh? So, my feeling is it should be like a minus 50% penalty if they lose the battle. So they still get some. Hello. Hello, Zartan. Yeah, we might need, uh, might need more garrison there just to be on the safe side. Might help. Uh, Katarine. I'm go you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sail you. Well, swim. No, not swim, obviously. It's chilly. Very chilly. Okay, we're going to... Gregor is going to get in here. I'm going to... Back him up with Banjo. Yeah, we're going to continue the siege. Back him up with Banjo. Get Banjo in here too. Yes. It's not much of a garrison. I feel like probably fighting it is the is the good good idea. But well, you know, that's not too bad. I'll take it. Let's loot and occupy. That's right as ours now. The ice goes. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna reduce that corruption. You definitely can't reach. So, we're fine. I'm just trying to work out if they can do any sneaky bullshit, but they can't. Okay, let's crack a drac. Let's retake crack a drac. I would prefer if you didn't run away. Please don't run away. Please face me. Thank you. That's low. Um... Hmm... Kind of tempted to give this to Bolza. Mind you, that's strength from flesh. Don't ask questions how that's working. All of our... Okay, we're, we're going to pop that on... On... I think that's Frodo. Is that a good idea? Hmm. All these banners are really good. I, okay, I'm going to pop that on you. I don't know if that's the right choice, but that's what we're going to do. We have a choke point battle. Obviously, this is going to favour us because these guys don't have any. Well, they don't have many missile units anyway. So we're taking up position on this little hill over here, which is perfect because it means that Streltsy can shoot over the heads of the Zargard. And the Frozen Heart is advancing, aiming to get some uh, frosty breath on these demonettes. Oh, yeah, no, that was pretty. That was pretty legit. That was pretty legit. And they continue to march straight into Ulrika's Pit of Shades. Already, these Chaos Boys are in quite a lot of trouble. Slow them down so they can aren't close on our front line too quickly. And the Streltsy are now opening fire. Yeah, keep your heads down, lads. We're sending Boris, Sam, and Frodo into the fray. We'll keep the enemy busy, or at least most of them busy. Spawn of Slash managed to get into combat, but I'm going to be honest, the Zargards are already... They're, they're, they're pretty nasty, so Spawn of Slash is just going to die pretty hard. 
Ulrika is seeing off that feral manticore. And here come the enemy reinforcements. They are they're shooting they're shooting the old the old javelins. At the elemental bear there. Fortunately he doesn't really care that much. It's just he's he's mildly irritated. See the bears helping mop up that attack on our front line. So we send the Heart of Winter straight into the enemy and then drop his his Heart of Winter on them. This means anyone in range of him is going to start taking a lot of damage. Honestly, this thing is nasty. Like, Heart of Winter is a brutal spell. And the fact that you can just, like, drop one around him. Oof. Oof. See, the guns unimpeded can just continue to open fire. The Oath Brothers sweeping in. They are fighting aspiring champions. But, you know, 90 melee attack and 152 weapon strength with arm piercing should be fine. They are fighting quite a lot of guys there. The bears now moving in, engaging those chaos trolls. They're going to die pretty quickly. Yep. And then we drop another Heart of Winter on their heads. Let's see the Oath Brothers taking a little bit of damage there. But it looks like the vast majority of that de those Demonettes, they're all blinded as well, so they're doing very little melee. They're doing, they're doing very little damage to us. And the Heart of Winter is finishing off the rest of them. Yep, there we go. Army losses taking the effects. And now they're going to have to run as quickly as possible to escape all the bears. Yeah, that's right, Azizel. You started something. And I'm going to finish it. You better get the fuck out of here. Boris Ursus himself. You, you went fucking miles. All right, pop you. I'll have that. Thank you. We will actually... I'll actually build the defences this time. Yeah, that's right. The time's the charm. Yeah, we'll build that one. And, uh, growth. Yes. And we'll land at the Bay of Blades. Grab that. Then we'll mop all of this up. Zizel is going to get his ass kicked. I don't know. <sighs> okay, we've got a slight issue down here. There appear to be... There are, I don't know where I went West Country. There better to be vampires down here. Right, Gotrek is looking a little bit peaky. We've got Stork, blah, blah, blah. You are fine. Wall sleds. Missile strike. Okay, you. Orlanda. Lamb. Douse the home fires. All right. A wondrous you want to? Tool indeed. Right, more guns. Basically, Kislev will not fall. I switch. Uh, like we could get some of you lads. Who could we? Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's get a mortar. Just going to get some random, some random bullshits. Don't want some cannons. It's probably not going to be great in a siege, is it? Oh, oh, you know what would be good? Yes. Yes, now we're talking. 
Now we're fucking talking. Okay, let's let's do something like that. Sister of Ice. And S ba basically, I, I want them to take one look at Kislev and go, "Oh, oh shit, no." I Who the fuck are you at war with? Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Right, oh, there you are. Right. So you're with the dwarves, with Belagar, the Reichlands, and Dreyka. I mean, you have expanded pretty quickly. You notice that you've expanded northward rather than, say, going anywhere else, but sure. Also, I noticed that you've apparently bypassed Dreyka, who you're apparently at war with, and are coming, oh look, straight for me. What a surprise. What a su Are you just raiding me? All right. I guess if that's what you want to do, that's fine. I switch. Bandro, you... Keeper of ice magic. It will render me unassailable. Well, I wouldn't say unassailable, but it's something. No other may wield it. Evelina, I'm going to bring you down here. How much vampire? Uh, well, you're, you're definitely going to hit Batchafun, which does not have that much of a garrison. I'm not going to worry too much about that, though. It's just, it's just not a concern, really, at the moment. Loves all allies Carl, how's it going, mate? How's it going? Carl, why? Why are you at war with Bretonia, Carl? Carl, have you always been at war with Bretonia? I thought you... Because I'm a, I've got a military alliance with you, so... When did that happen? Oh, Carl, 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 Carl. I feel... All right, you know what? Fine, whatever. Whatever. Oh, a shrine to Urson. Didn't know that. That was that. That was interesting. Interesting. Good to know. Uh, Clan Ferric is dead, apparently. The lost Tsar returns. Good to know. Where are those vampires? I don't know. I don't know where the vampires have gone. Right, well, we're taking this. Bop you. Occupy. Thank you. Oh, hello. Are we under? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hello. Gospodar by blood. Oh, I'm tempted to go after him. Oh, shit, son. Why? Why is that all damaged? Really? Oh, I'm tempted to go after him. If I kill him, this is my right. Right to if, I, if I wait for them to group up together, that's probably going to be worse. I'm just going to... I probably should have fought that. Fetch my lash. Lord of all. Okay, we'll hop back in there. I reject any who crave power. You might... Uh, mostly laborers. You'll probably just wander off. Probably. Maybe? Right. I think I'm going to leave Boris to deal with this. And we are going to... I could...
could Catherine could go this way, couldn't she? Catherine and Boris can link up, which means that we can kind of like leave Banjo and Grigor. So what's the garrison like here? Uh, it's not great. The ice goes. Okay, we'll 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 stay here for a turn, just to bolster this garrison a little bit. Once that garrison is good to go, because realistically, we only need a handful more settlements, and I think Norska is going to provide that for me. Hello. Hello, Wolfric. Get where are you getting these demons from, mate? I don't understand where the whole de is. Is that like the whole Norska thing now? Is that your thing? Is that the thing that Norska does now? You got fucking. You got. You got. Ex you got exalted blood letters. Wait, what the fuck are you getting them from? Well, I'll worry about that next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.